Mining resources has become a huge problem. Currently, we are using our entrance into our zombie XP farm, but this is not working any longer. We don't have an easy way to transport all the resources that we get, and we need a better system so that we can get resources from all different layers. So, I think it's time to change that. You know, most Minecrafters set up their mining entrance and mining systems very early on in the game. Friends, we are over 1,000 days here in this world and we still don't have an official mining setup. I have a plan and that's exactly what we're going to do today. I have been perusing our base here and I have come across a couple of things that we desperately need in our world to kind of feel like we can get everything that we need at this time. And one of those things is a great mining entrance that we can not only go down into, but also has a system to funnel up all the products into a storage building at the top. And we are gonna be building our mining area right around this area. I think to start off immediately here, in order to get a little bit better of a lay of the land, we're gonna chop down all these trees. Well, let's do it. Now that we have everything cleared out, let's talk about the plans that I have for this mining area. Let's go into free cam mode here to kind of show what I'm talking about. So as you can tell, there's like this flat area here and then a little bit of a hill before going up on the back of this hill back here. So I am thinking that we are going to build the actual building for the storage of the stone materials right here. And I think that way we can have a large building because I mean, you and I both know there is a lot of stone materials to store. I also want to have a tower on one of these sides and I'm not sure which one. And kind of from where that tower is, is where we're going to pipe up all the resources into the sorting system of our mine storage area. So I'm going to get some resources and we are going to start kind of laying out the footprint of this building to see if what I have in my mind is actually going to work in this area. Well, I ended up going into creative to do a little bit of design work because just laying it out here in survival was not working for me. So I think I have finally come up with a design that I enjoy and I think will look good here, but it's time to build it up. The thing that I did in creative, it is literally all made out of stone. So I don't necessarily have a build palette. We're gonna definitely go along with a lot of what we have here. I think we're gonna build this whole thing up in stone. And then once we tweak it and make it as we want it, then we're going to add in all the detail bits and the like. Unfortunately, we don't have enough stone. All that I have is in my inventory and that's not very much. So I guess I'm mining before we get this building built up to try and get ourselves some more stone. So let me get on that and I'll bring you back into a time lapse and we will get the stone version of this building all built up. Well, we have our stone mining building all built up. Of course, we need to figure out a build palette for this, but I do think this is gonna work out very nicely. I also think upon looking at the rest of my builds, uh, this is probably the largest build that we have in this area, and I'm kind of excited about that. So of course we have this tower here on the side, which honestly, I really love how that tower came out and I can't wait to add, add the details and the other blocks into it to really make it pop. And then we have ourselves the building down below. Now, as we go in, um, obviously there's all of this dirt here in the way, which I am gonna have to bind down, but we will get to that here in a little bit. I have a couple of pieces pushing out here. This is just to show where walls are gonna go uh, and more storage. And so that's why I have them here. But first, uh, let me clear all of that dirt out and I shall bring you back when it is all done. Things are taking shape inside of our building. As you can tell, I've done actually quite a lot of work. I have cleared out the entire building of all the stone that was in there. And then I added in a little bit of stone to show where the walls are gonna need to go. 
And I even put in all the chests and a bunch of the hoppers <laughs> that we're gonna have for the storage. So as you can see, as you first come in, there'll be chests on either side. And then at the back, we're gonna have a bank of chests. And then there's also some towards the end here. This is more than enough storage for our needs, but I was like, you know what, let's go big. And then over here, inside of the tower, we're gonna have the bubble vader that bubble vates everything up. And then we're gonna have some type of either water system, more than likely, uh, across the top so that all the items can then get filtered down into the different chest banks. So it is gonna be a little bit convoluted to try and make sure that the water stream runs a specific direction to get where it needs to go, but I'm hoping this will work out all right. Now, of course, we cannot leave it all in stone and we have got to start talking about the build palette and how we're gonna actually build this up. And because it is a mining building, I do think we're gonna use a lot of stone brick and cracked stone brick and all the like. So I'm gonna go get some of those materials and we'll see what we can do with a little bit of texturing along the walls here. of a progress update we have our roof on the main building completed now and of course all the wall texturing but I do want to finish off this tower I'm thinking we're going to have some dark oak wood there in the middle bits and then we need to do a lot of detailing because while I have texture on the walls there's it's kind of plain so I have a couple of ideas of how to fix that and of course we'll have trees around here and the like but I do like how it's coming so far and I decided to put in a little bit of fence work here on the front entrance. I think definitely once we get the interior finished, this will look a little bit better. Uh, first off, let's go work on this tower over here. Well, with the rain here, we have finished the tower and I like how it turned out. We got a little bit of dark oak wood and of course we have some packed mud and some mud bricks and our little orange roof. And now we need to detail a little bit of the exterior before going into the interior of the build. So one of the things that I'm thinking about here with the exterior is it's just a little bit too flat. So we either need to pull out some stone rubble on the outside or else we need to make almost like inset windows and then just put a little bit of wall action in there. So I'm going to try both of those options and see which one I like better and I'll bring you back when it is complete. Now this I am liking. So I did try it with kind of the window shape with the wall in. It just wasn't doing it for me. Plus it would attach to any of the other walls or redstone stuff that I have in the background. So I was like, no, we're going to leave it flat walls and then we're going to bring in kind of these rocky outcroppings. I don't know how true this would be of a building, but I do think it kind of worked out for this building itself, having kind of the crumbling stone on the outside, covered in leaves and dead leaves and the like. Of course, we're going to grow a few trees, build up a few trees like this around here, and we need to connect the paths together. Well, we're gonna actually wait on that one for just a little bit because I need to do some work in here. Um, we do need a floor in here. We need to finish off all the redstone and we need to get rid of the stone and actually turn it into some wood and walls and kind of make this interior look a lot prettier than it currently is. And of course, we gotta get ourselves our little pathway down to our mining center. So a lot of work yet to still do, but it is going to look great. It is looking so pretty on the interior of the storage unit now. I really like the design we got going on here with the spruce wood and the dark oak wood. Now, of course, we can see the roof line, which I don't like. 
but I don't want to cover it up yet until we actually have this sorting system put in there because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of movements obviously that are going to be needed because we need to figure out how to get the sortable items from inside this tower all the way around our system and back to this one. But so far, I really like how this is turning out here in the corner because it is against the outside wall. I just left the stone in and then the rest of this area, we have the spruce wood. This one we couldn't inset simply because of how it is set up against the chest bank right there. But I think that's fine. I think it just gives it a little bit of difference and I don't mind it. On the floor, of course, we get some spruce and some strip spruce logs just to kind of give it a finished touch. Let me just quick fix these stairs. I forgot that I did not have them in. So now that we have the base of this storage area kind of finished off, I definitely need to do the redstone setup and the like, but I think I actually want to wait on that for a second. And that's something I'll probably do off camera. We'll just be using impulses design for the sorting system in the back. And then I just need to figure out some water pathways to send the materials across. But I do think we should work on this room right here. We are going to dig out this entire circle down to diamond mining level. And then we will make a staircase using wood to make a circular path down and up. Um, and then at the different levels that we're going to want the dropper system to send the items up into the bubble vader. Uh, we'll just have floors. So that is kind of my idea uh, and I'm hoping it's going to work out because otherwise me starting the project of digging this giant hole down to the level that we need to go since I mean we're sitting at 64 right now so that's a, a long way down is going to be absolutely worthless and not worth my time. But here we are that's exactly what we're going to do next. Well friends mega progress has been made. I dug me a hole. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, yeah, no beacon. This took a lot longer than I expected it to. But even though this took a long time, I'm super happy with it. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like once we actually have all the wood and the rail in place and the like. We are going to have to put in our center bubble vader all the way up. First, I'm actually going to go see if I have enough glass for a bubble vader because if we could actually get that part set up and then finish the redstone up here, I think that would be absolutely wonderful. Then we can work on getting our own mode of transportation headed down into the mines. After a bunch of time mining down spruce trees, we now have almost a full shulker box of spruce trap doors and a bunch of spruce logs as well as some glass because it is time for us to get this hole of our mining center fixed up and looking beautiful. But here on the bottom, we want to be in the center. Can I be in the center? Guys, what did I do? Why is this not a center? What have I done to my room? Okay guys, let's go see if I can fix this and uh, then we'll start putting in the glass. Well, sometimes you make pretty redstone and sometimes you simply make functional redstone. And I think for today, this is more functional than pretty, which is completely against uh, what I like doing in Minecraft, but I'm also proud of myself for the redstone that I did do. So down here we have our platforms with the dropper system that you can put all your items into that chest right there and it will automatically dropper it out up into this bubble vader, which then goes across. Uh, it's not fully set up, but it then goes across in these interesting glass enclosure patterns and it should make its entire way around all of my sorting systems. Well, let's see what we can do about making ourselves a rail path all the way down into our mine. OK, 
Okay, I think I've uh, made all the redstone work here and now it is auto sorting the things that I have placed in the chest for auto sorting. This is amazing. Is it the prettiest thing in the world? No, mm, not at all. But you know what? It's functional and that is what we need around here. Now that we have the sorting system all set up and the platforms and the rail all the way down to our mining areas, I think we need to decorate the interior here. This ice is just going to be in the way. I don't really know how to go around it without maybe putting a couple of trap doors. So you know what? I'm going to play around with some of the interior work here, see what we can come up with, and I will bring you guys back when it is complete. I think it is safe to say that I have finished the interior of our mining building. So let's go take a look. Now we will have this ice path across. Uh, I just can't do anything with it. And you know what? That is totally fine for it to be there. So it's simple roof. We just have a row of trap doors along the side. And then it is technically a row of half slabs, but it is like bottom half slabs. So then we do have a couple of doors so that I can go into the redstone should I need to. And we decorated with the a dark oak fence and a lantern underneath, which is perfect for the lighting. And it just makes this place feel so cozy. I really like how this has come together. Now, I feel like my hole into the center of the mine here could be prettier. Right now, like, I feel like I need to put in a roof, so I'm probably gonna do that, but I have to figure out exactly how to make this look good. I like the concept of having the bubble vader in the center for all the items to come up. I like the concept of having this, this looping rail cart for me to travel down and even where we have like the entrances to do our mining from. So the last thing we need to do with this place is to go up to the top and decorate the exterior and put in a path. Now that looks like a much nicer roof. I just flattened it off and I know you can see the ice right there, but at least just makes this area look a little bit more finished, which I very much appreciate. But with that friends, we are going to call this episode done. We have done some massively amazing work here in our mining storage unit and of course the exterior of this build. So if you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're brand new, I would absolutely love if you would subscribe. And I will catch you in my next episode. Bye for now.